Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to yet another lecture in our uh, Palo Alto uh, training series. Now in this lecture what we are going to do is we are going to see how to deploy the Panorama VM in the VMware ESXi server. Now you can do um, the installation in your ENG as well but if you have good resources because this panorama vm takes a lot of resources minimum 16 gb of ram and um, uh, like 4 to 8 uh, virtual cpus so in order to have a smooth uh, performance i will go ahead and install uh, this vm on the esxi also you can uh, install the uh, vm on vmware workstation so i'll cover both of these options uh, like one is the ESXi, another one is the VMware uh, workstation. Now, in this video, we will cover the installation on VMware ESXi. So, I am uh, on my ESXi host and I can go to my uh, VMware virtual machine here. I mean, the virtual machines here. I have a couple of uh, panoramas al uh, already uh, deployed here. I can go ahead and delete one if I want. Mm, so, let's say I will go and action delete this one all right so uh, first of all you need to download the uh, the ova image for this one right uh, i mean you can deploy in kvm you can deploy in um, this hyper v as well and the esxi as well now to download the uh, image you will have to go to support.paloaltonetworks.com you should have a, a, a login uh, access to the support uh, and then you go to the updates section here right from the updates you have to go to the software updates and in the content type you will select the panorama base image okay you have go here down and, and then you see the panorama base image yeah this one panorama base image and you should see couple of variants here like i will go for 11.1 dot let's say zero or yeah so you will have the qcow2 file which is helpful to um, install on the kvm or even the evng um, also the vhdx file this is for the hyper v and then you have the gcp file and then you have the esxi this ova 11.1.0.ova um, so this is what i need to download and i have already downloaded this into my local system so this is how you download it after once you have downloaded this you have to go and click on the create register uh, create slash register vm now here you will say a deploy second option you see deploy a virtual machine from an ovf or ova file so i'll click on that hit next now here it says you need to name it so whatever you like uh, panorama us2 something like this and then you can drag and drop the file from wherever it's stored in your local system right i will just go here or you can just click on this it will open up this thing and then you can click on the uh, this is my panorama 11.1 .1, right so i'll go and click there and then hit next then you select the data store i want to install on the second data store because first one already seems to have low uh, disk space now this uh, deployment we are going to use only the management interface to uh, add the devices and other communications even the internet reachability is through the management so i have the vm network for my management and let's do a thin provisioning means um, uh, whenever the system is not using the resources it will free up the resources to be utilized on some other system as well this is uh, when you have uh, I mean less resources but in in real time what we do is thick provision means dedicatedly I assign that number of resources to this vm right then uh, power on automatically once the installation is finished so this is a kind of summary here like what you did you your program name is this one 11.0 then the vm name is this the file is this vmdk is basically the disk okay then data store 2 thin and the network and guest name os is unknown as of now so i'll just click, click on finish and you will see that the uh, creation uploading uh, the events you will see here and down here right so right now it is uploading and also importing the v app here two uh, things are going on in parallel 
all right so we'll let it finish once this is finished then I, I can go ahead and follow up with the initial configuration i mean setting up the ip address dns everything if you uh, leave it for uh, the dns to take care it, that is also fine but i would suggest to you to do it uh, statically because most of the uh, i mean uh, deployments we do this uh, static uh, static assignment right so in in case of a hardware um, uh, device you will have a static ip already configured on the management interfa interface which is 192.168.1.1 but in this case this is a vm and uh, on the management interface it will have a dhcp enabled so whenever the vm will boot up it will have an ip address from the dhcp local dhcp server if it is over there so for me my router local router is acting as a dhcp server and i should get an ip address from the range of 192.168.1.0 so we will see once uh, this uh, deployment is completed uh, then i will uh, resume the lecture again until then i'm gonna uh, pause the video and come back all right so i see that the uh, installation has been completed successfully power on the vm so next step is going on to power on the vm so i'll go here and you can see that console from here click here and you will be able to see the console now we will wait for the panorama to initialize and uh, then we can try on and log in to the panorama and the default username is um, similar to what the Palo Alto firewalls have admin and admin and uh, once you do the initial uh, login it will prompt you to change the password and also you can see here that uh, the minimum CPU allocation is 4 CPUs and memory is 8 GB now this is the minimum once you license this based on that it may increase but uh, I mean I will increase it to uh, 16 GB later when I do the labs but for now 8 GB is fine because once you add the firewalls and policies and start pushing the the configuration uh, this becomes very uh, laggy so I don't want this to happen in our uh, lab So as you can see now it is asking me for the old password which is admin and then i will create a new password with some complexity i mean capital letters and then some special characters and numbers yeah uh, but still i mean you can see here it gave a warning your deal still st is still configured with the default admin account credentials anyway so still it is on the admin admin so um, we can check later uh, now in order to see the management IP I will type the command show interfaces management and I should see 101 is the IP which should not be the case because the same is the IP on my default gateway on um, the router right so I'll go here and say configure then I will say set device config system uh, type I have to change to static then again system uh, config system IP hyphen address i will change this to 192.168.1.222 and then you can say netmask 255.255.255.0 and then also you can say default gateway which is going to be 1.1 if you don't specify this then you don't you will not have internet but you will have access to the panorama gui because you are uh, i mean placing this in the same subnet right the one into one sixty one triple two because my system is also in the same subnet so i will be able to access the internet uh, the gui as well as the panorama will be able to uh, go to the uh, internet now uh, the main thing is the dns right so from uh, this you can say device config and then dns dns or set dns okay set uh hmm. set 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 you have device config only okay then you have a system then you have i think dns here 
so you see what else uh, you have public IP address um, which I will specify I have already specified ah, you have the DNS setting and why it was not covered. okay DNS setting then you have servers because this is all the same command that we have in the Palo Alto firewall right primary then you will specify 4.2.2.2 secondary maybe your a dot a dot a dot or you can have your router as well right mm. anyway so that is what i wanted now my uh, panorama will be able to resolve the fqdns right and then uh, also i have a default gateway so my panorama should be able to reach the internet so we will commit these changes and then we will see the um, uh, results right so wait for this okay so even from my um, pc i can ping the ip address with the, which is triple two so this should be reachable yeah it is reachable and if i go back here i can i see that yeah this has been configured so uh, all right um so now here i can do a ping host uh, i have to go to the exit the configuration mode then i can do a ping host and then i can do 88888 this will be successful then i have to do a uh, updates dot palo alto networks dot com yeah so it is resolving and also able to reach the um, internet right so next is to access the web GUI right one dot triple two and i should be able to access it i will get the certificate error that is fine because this is a self-signed certificate then i should get the login prompt wherein i will specify the default um ip addresses now uh, as you can see it's it's a bit laggy and i am um i mean uh sure about this because i have only 8 gb so when i change it to 16 gb this should be working normal uh, and the password here is let's say the default admin no it's not working that means it has taken my um what do you say the password that i've changed yeah it has taken even though the cli was saying something else but uh, yeah the part password has been updated all right um so i have logged in to my system now it will give me a uh, what do you say a warning saying that this is not uh, having license uh, and once you i mean you have to uh, apply the license uh, if you want to use the panorama i mean if you want to add devices to the panorama right because without license you will not be able to add the uh, devices like the the firewalls to the panorama and manage it so manually you can go ahead and download this file and upload to your uh, support portal and uh, from there you can activate the license okay so that's all from my end if i if you go here on the license part you can see this is not licensed right you can use an authorization code here to uh, activate the license um, and i will do it for my box and uh, that's all for this video hope you have learned something new today and uh, i will see you in the next lecture where we will see the panorama installation on the uh, vmware workstation so i will see you in the next lecture till then bye bye take care